Hello everyone, this is Take the Lawn Cutting and Rail Fanning Musician. <clears throat> and I'm standing at my keyboard. I know this is not on the Rollin' Lover 2021 channel, but there's a particular sound that I want to share with y'all on this channel because it relates to an instrument that I play on this channel, and that's the dulcimer. Well, an instrument that I used to own, but I still keep in my memory. And so I'm going to show it with y'all. I'm going to show it to y'all. Let me put this in the tripod. There we go. Now here's what the dulcimer... This is the dulcimer sound that I made. It's a hammer dulcimer. Let me just turn this down a bit because it is kind of loud. No, I'll turn it up just a little bit more. But this is what it sounds like. <coughs> Now the way it's made is you put a chorus effect. Reverb is a must have, but also a chorus effect, particularly the manual chorus, because that's where you get that normal sound of a dulcimer. Anyways, here's what it sounds like without the effect. Now I did put a compression on it to make it more louder and have more volume. But as far as other effects go, you must have a chorus, a manual chorus, and a reverb. Now an awesome thing you can do with this, I did make this sound before, and I used the regular dulcimer sound, but it just did not sound as awesome as it does now. So here's something you can do with it. You can have, go into your filter. Your envelope and your ADSR and you can adjust now I have my release all the way up for this but as far as your cutoff goes that's where you can do your hammers the type of hammer you want I can go all the way down here and you can get like a 1514 style dulcimer but this is a I'm doing a 12 11th or in this case a 14 12 uh, no maybe a 13 12 but I know the lowest note is D on the bass bridge and then A on your treble bridge And here's what it sounds like without the effect. You know, let me bring that cut off just a little bit more. So here's what it sounds like without the effect. And with the effect on, it gets you more of a fuller sound. Now there are a ton of things you do. And then you can open it all the way up to get a more more of the hard striking hammers against the strings. Again, you can, well also you can make this yourself, so depending on how you want the dulcimer to sound, you can also go into your master effects, and in this case I have the manual chorus on, and you can actually, it's almost like you can tune the dulcimer, so you can tune it up to about a semitone. Almost like you're tuning the strings. Now the sound itself, 
has two oscillators on it, but they're both tuned at the same pitch. So I took a piano sample and a guitar sample, but I pitched the piano sample all the way up an octave and then brought it down to the 16 foot octave, which then turns it into an 8 foot just like the guitar pitch. And I'll do a, a tutorial on this on the Roland Lover 2021 channel. But anyways, let's get back to the... This is... This is normally where I keep the dulcimer. But again, whatever you prefer, if you want it up here. Or if you want it to sound more like this. But definitely do not do this with your dulcimer. Or this. You want to keep it in about here or at least right in here. So you want a moderate chorus effect. And also to note, there's some cyan light, uh, not to be uh, off from this dulcimer, but I have some cyan light casting out on the keyboard or the keyboard dulcimer. So we got some cyan. Now you can also tune the dulcimer. Again, you can have it. You don't want to tune it too far out, but you want to keep it in here. But this is also good practice for like... Not Now not every dulcimer is going to be perfectly in tune. So that's why they're going to be... They're, they are going to sound like this. And again, it's all how you want to make the sound. Then again, I choose to keep mine up right here. Or at least bring it down a little bit. This is where I keep my sound. I'll go back and then, this is actually where I keep it, so let me go back to the effect. And it actually sounds just like a dulcimer, I actually like it. Then again, it's all how you want to make the dulcimer. Then again, I choose to keep mine around here. This is actually where I keep mine. Now, if you're one who likes really tuned dulcimers, you can do that too, but this is about as far as you want to be as far as keeping it close to being in tune. You do not want it to sound like this. I mean, you can, but if you, roll, if you want a rich sound, try not to keep the chorus effect too in tune. Try to keep it more... Then again, it's all how you create the dulcimer sound. And like I said, there's some cyan light on the dulcimer. And I will actually 
I should go through and do an RGB color color round. So here is here it is. Almost red, green, blue, yellow, magenta, cyan, and white. And I'll put it back on cyan. Red and cyan, so there we go. And I will come back and I will remove my camera off the tripod for y'all. So, thank you guys for watching this dulcimer video. Again, I will do a tutorial on Roland Lover 2021 on how to make that dulcimer sound. And then I will also do some more dulcimer videos on this channel. I'll even show y'all another dulcimer sound. It was a mountain dulcimer sound that I made. So I will show you all that. So stay tuned for that. And also stay tuned for the tutorial on Rolling Lover 2021. Please like and share and subscribe for more videos. I will make some more RGB videos, some lawn cutting videos. I hope to make more lawn cutting videos before the season's over. And then we will also do some RGB videos and some more dulcimer videos like this. So please stay tuned for those videos. Thank you for watching.